Yo, Graf, what's up, baby? Chillin', man. What's goody, though? Man, we out here partying bullshit, man. I see. We shit, Just man. had you on last episode of 16 or Better, man. Oh, yeah, that was great. Blowing <laughs> motherfuckers' minds and shit. I, I, I had to let you lead off the show. Thanks, man. I appreciate they that. They call that you good. Freestyle King, man. I know how to rap all right, man. <laughs> Yo, how long you been rapping, man? And when I've been you doing this for a while. Freestyle. Um, just I just I guess it just came with the whole craft for this shit, man. I've been doing it for a while. I just appreciate art in general, man. Mm. Even outside of music, I design clothes and I just draw on shit. Mm. Whatever the fuck, I'm a creative soul, so whatever just comes of that, I just do. Like this jacket is part of my clothing line. And you ain't bring me shit. I did not. I'm sorry. You ain't bring me <laughs> shit. Nigga, I owe you. Did you notice the second time I wore this, right? Shit. Oh, well, I gotta bring you something before next week. Man, wait, can can you do that for Michelle? Good looking. Man, look at it. My, my girls are so nurturing. See, I, I love y'all. <laughs> yeah. Burn the mother. <laughs> Yo. I was so turned up. You was backing all that ass up and all that. <laughs> Yo, that was, was like, who said white girls can't dance? Watch this. <laughs> the fuck you. How <laughs> did young people say it? That was everything, right? <laughs> Word, shit. That was everything, man. That was fun. That was lit. Okay. Yeah. I like partying in my own shit. That was lit. Yeah, give it up for yourself, man. I was turned up. <laughs> That's what I didn't even want to make because I came in the game making most like. Gangster shit, uh, but I like making club shit because I like to see women's body parts move to my shit. Yeah. So you know, thank y'all for inspiration. <laughs> That's fantastic. Man, I heard Puff say it. I heard uh, Tupac say it first. You know what I'm saying? With everything that we do, we doing it for the women. We trying to That's make the real. ladies dance. Any nigga that say he not, he bugging them. He's bugging. Yeah, he either lying himself or he don't like women. Yeah, yeah, and that's cool too, but just not fuck. I don't know which nigga getting fly for dudes. Right, right. It's kind, of, but guys be doing that, be in the club and whatnot, getting fresh for, for other each guys. other. You know what I'm saying? They getting fresh for their boys. Yeah. Like, not I, my friend. <laughs> What's your views on throwing money in the club? I mean, I'm not throwing shit. I mean, oh, let me say it this way: <laughs> if it's in a strip club. And then you gotta be a patron. They gotta show love to the women and make sure they eat. It's a business, so there's different. You know what I'm saying? But okay. in general, just trying to show off. Shit, nigga, I got bills. You, you niggas you is crazy. Yeah, I, I, I think, I, see, some niggas be balling out to impress other people. Right, right. Or maybe, because mm -hmm. you ever see the nigga in the club with all the bottles? Mm -hmm. He get a couple girls there, she drink, lick it done, she leave. You get she no She leave? Pussy. You wasted all you that bread. You be like, bread. where you going? You know how many niggas, see, I'm not gonna blow niggas up. You know how many niggas that I know that want to show off mm -hmm. that would just pay a rapper like me just to stand there so the bitches to stay. Mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. like, once this liquor done, they leaving. Yeah. Just, hey, just take some bread, just stay here. I'm like, all right, fuck it, nigga, we chilling. <laughs> Talk fuck that it. shit. That's Spend your money, nigga. Too. That's how I run my life. Oh, man. yeah. I mean, my life is set up inside that direction and whatnot. Right I have never been one to, like, you know, I, 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 like, I go to a strip club, but I follow the other rules. If you ain't drinking, then you tipping. So I'm gonna drink, because I like to drink <laughs> and whatnot. I, I'm like, look, bitch, I didn't pay you my two drink minimum. Get the fuck away from me now. See, I do that just to show love, though. Like, so I, I won't be in a strip club just not doing this shit, only mm -hmm. because. You know, it's a friendly environment. I want to show love. I want to be a patron of the spot. I ain't they don't be take friendly when you all when the money gone. I mean, shit. Yeah, I, I don't want that. I don't want that from her. I'm just trying to show love. You ain't got to dance on me. I'd rather put money in a bitch hand to dance with each other. I like that. Don't dance on me. You might have makeup on your boy. You might stain my jeans. I'm, I don't want none of that. But dance on each other. That's fantastic. I can dig. I can it. fuck I can with dig. that. I can fuck dig. with that. What's your strip club of choice, man? I go to all them shits. Whichever one playing my music, I'm in that bitch. Keep it 100 with you. It's all about crap. <laughs> I'm based it on what DJ playing. Who? Oh, I can it dig it. I can dig it. Hey. I like all them shits though. All of them. All of them. And let me ask you a question. Do you think the bottle girls is, 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 is topping the strippers now? Like, what's going I, on? I don't. I don't see what y'all think. Because some of these. That, that, that's a question for the ladies. It'd it be, like, it be, like, it be like a wall. I'm hot as shit. Oh, this Jack got to come on. <laughs> he about to take off his shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see, it ain't that kind of show, but. uh. I would though. Look at her. She is really into this shit. She ain't helping me. Whatever kind of show, man, you know. She ain't helping me. I guess we'll get her, homie. Her lazy ass. Thank you, baby. Give me the story over there. She ain't got you. She ain't got you. Nah, she do. I got faith in her. She got it. She got it. And she will let you spit in the mouth. We just found that out today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a positive thing, I guess. I'm a freak nigga. We get into that conversation later. I can do it. Well, we can talk about that. Yeah. So what ladies, are saying now? He just asked a great question, though. I mean, is it more about the, uh, the, the bottle girls or is it more about the dancers? Who gets the most attention? Because it seems like bitches are going to college now to be bottle girls. Mm. <laughs> 
Nah, no, I'm just talking shit. Career, <laughs> she like, why well, sign up? St. <laughs> John's? York? Paying back your student loan. Exactly. I need a student loan for that. All right, let me stop. True, true. What y'all think, though? Let's direct it over here first. I, I, I'm going to take, take the stand and go first from experience. Mm. Speak on it. There's a lot. By the way, I'm Kuti. <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a lot of um, bartenders that see strippers get a shower once a month. Mm. From that once a month, you get 10 or 20 grand. That bartender switches up and puts a thong on and she ready mm. to be a stripper. Mm. Oh, okay, I see. But once you put those six to seven, 10 each um, inch heels on and you realize the struggle you gotta go through walking around in them heels eight hours the whole night, you gotta shake your ass, you gotta be flexible in them heels, and you also gotta be able to do whatever you can do in them heels to get the dollar. They realize it's hard work and they wanna go back to bartender. But the problem is, bartenders is looking like strippers now. So now you got the strippers going to be bartenders and the bartenders are stuck being strippers and ain't nobody happy. Oh, is everybody cool or is it like a war nah, for business? It's like a war. It's, like... it's war. Oh, it's and it war. looked like it. It's war because the strippers should be getting more money because we wearing less clothes. But realistically speaking, the bartenders are bringing the niggas out. They're building the relationship. Hold on. You, we, the we, let, we wearing less clothes. You, you a stripper? But this, but you ain't listening. You listening to respond. Yeah, I'm yes, I was. I, I was listening. You're not listening. I heard you say, I heard you had said that. Uh, <laughs> bartenders, bartenders. Okay. This is the thing. Bartenders okay. brings brings the guys out. You feel me? Mm -hmm. They they already. Why built is that, that though? Why, why don't the strippers bring them out too? Nah. What is it? Nah. The the bartenders already built that relationship. We we get um, bartenders get closer. We can sit there, offer you a drink. Mm -hmm. We hear the shit you talking. Girl, oh, girls, girls, and the strippers is only busy. You know. It's, it's a different. It, you I need to know is you a stripper or is you a bartender though? I mean, you that shit is bothering me right now. You you're serving drinks naked. What is he doing? The point is, the point is, there's beef. You know, there's beef between <laughs> so bartenders and strippers. strippers. Let them be. They'll if figure it out. If you throw in money, they gonna take I mean, it either shit. way. Either I dig way, it, but either way you bring as the put this way, if I, if I throw the money, I don't know, I don't give a fuck where I land. I'm just gonna throw the shit. Yeah, I, yeah, I work it out. Uh, get a calculator, work it out. I'm just going to sold on the wrist after that shit. Is, you the one making these girls fight fights in the club? You the one building all the fights in the club? It might be. Girls fighting. If, if once the leader risks, y'all can get a calculator and divide that shit. Whatever y'all work it out. That's a WWE. Yeah, fight. work it out. You, that ain't got nothing called? to do with you right there. Who's one motion. You up more in the DM though. Yeah. Are you what now? The strippers, strippers or the bartenders? You up or the bartenders hitting you up in the DM. In the DM? Oh, I can't talk about in the DM. My no, DM. My DM. My DM. I ain't gonna lie though. That shit be looking like a reality show. The DM, it's both of them in the DM. My DMs is friendly. It's welcoming to everybody. Are you single? Are you single? It's a friendly you place. A you got a girlfriend, a wife? I do. I got a girl. Okay, so is she cool? Hey, with nigga, you always blink when he say I, in I DM? got a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole party stopped. It goes, <laughs> um, I mean, shit, it is what it comes with the territory. I mean, I'm an entertainer, so it's gonna happen. So you tell her like I'm just going out to Aces tonight, and you know, I mean, understand. This one's gonna be on top of me. I think I think any woman that dates an entertainer is gonna have to understand. Okay. Unless you're dating a bum ass one that ain't hot at all, okay. then shit, you ain't got no problem. You ain't got no stress. That nigga's he terrible. gonna be home every night. <laughs> yeah, if you if you worth anything, you know that you're gonna get attention from. Females, or you Everywhere. date, if you're a female and you decide to date an entertainer, you gotta be built for that or confident enough to do that. So if not, that leave mean? that nigga because you're gonna be stressed. So, so what do you do you to question. secure your does lady? That who me? What I do? Yeah, what do you do to secure I'm a freak. Woman? I'm doing whatever it takes. Okay. Boom. Cool. I'm right right. Questions over here. So let me ask you a question. Does that go both ways? So if you're dating an actress or a celebrity, you know, Word. she go out, she do. She I'm a confident you know, man. You know, you so let's put like, let's say you're an entertainer, right? And I'm with you. I'm gonna be confident to know that I got this. If I, and if we trust each other, then it's it gonna have to be like that. I can't worry about what you're doing or else we shouldn't be together. I can't be going through your DMs or looking at your comments like, who that nigga? What's all them hearts mm -hmm. about? I don't give a fuck about none of that extra shit. Right. I would just trust who you are and be like, all right, we together, we together. And I don't, not, not to be cocky, but I don't feel like if I'm with you, that you don't need another nigga. I'm gonna right. do what, it, what needs to be done. I, oh, I, this my mentality, period. I believe a man is supposed to satisfy a woman. Like, if, I'm, if we're doing something and you're not coming, then it's like we're wasting our time. Yeah, but man, if you're just, if you're just I, fucking, I, just to, I, if I get no satisfaction if you're not satisfied. None. If you ain't coming, you're going, goddamn. <laughs> going. I don't, no questions over I, here. Yeah, that's not fun. 
Well, it seems like, I mean, you've been in the game for like a decade. And Word. you really been, you know, doing your thing. You got a lot of connections with a lot of people. So considering that, what what makes, you know, you keep going? What drives you to keep going? Because, you know, you're not seeming like maybe to others, you know, outside looking in, that you're not getting the recognition that you feel like you deserve putting all that work in. Right. Well, I definitely agree with that. I don't feel like... Hey, it, the I next don't... time you ask that, all you got to do is say, do you feel underrated? Right. Absolutely. I feel... Especially as an artist, what I do is like art, I think, is to be appreciated. So, and as an artist in general, you want to be heard by as many humans on the fucking planet. So, right. yeah, sometimes it, I definitely feel like, damn, it's more work than the uh, recognition. But I do it because I love it. Like, I really create. Even if I want a million dollars tomorrow, I would still make music. You know what I'm saying? Like, I literally create shit, period. I just, I don't give a what it is. I don't give a writing a play or fucking drawing on clothes, designing right. clothes, creating music. I'm going to create something. Like, my next thing now, I want to paint. Women, I want to draw on a dope. woman. Okay. I think that'd the be dope. Artistic side. Yeah, I just like doing shit. That and the fact that it, you know, I make a living off the shit, which is great. But right. I mean, I love it. Or the mother, like I wouldn't want to do nothing else. Well, based on your career, being that you've been, you're with uh, Team Bang. Dope Game. Dope Game. Uh -huh. What's the difference of being with them versus being with Virgin or EMI? Um, I tell you, see that I'm I'm independent. So the difference is one, you control, you have more control over what you want to do. Yeah. And um. You got to spend your own money to do it, though. That's the part that sucks about being independent. It's great to have all the control and make all the money. That's great. But to spend another nigga money is way better. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I understand that. So that's the only real difference is that you don't have that support system, that machine. You got to create the machine yourself. Right. Like every piece to my puzzle I hire, own cameraman, own engineer, own designers, every single piece. Mm -hmm. I went on tour with Royce the 5'9 um, a couple months ago. And we had to go out to buy a van, wrap the bitch. And I, I bought the motherfucker. Like I, everything we had to do was out of my pocket ourselves to do that. Right. So to keep it a rack with y'all, I made a lot of money on the tour and spent a lot of money on that motherfucker. Okay. I came back with like maybe I could pay a car note at the end of that. But we made a shitload of bread. But the fucking alternator blue niggas caught three flats, yeah. cracked rims, all type of shit. Uh, we paying for two, three hotel rooms a night for six niggas. It, it, bro, niggas gotta eat. I'm like, yeah. oh this hey, shit. Did you real. ever have one of them nights where you love? We all staying in the same room tonight, no homo. Nah. <laughs> you know what it is? I treat my niggas good. I want them to have fun. After my show, sometimes I go to bed. I don't care. But I want my niggas to run around, fuck all the groupies in the world, smoke all the weed, drink liquor, have a blast. When you go home, you say, that shit was the shit. I go to bed and get ready for the next show. Oh, Keep it that, 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 uh, that day we was in LA, and you invited me out to the 45 9 show. Y'all was fucking smoke? I wasn't doing nothing, man. Oh, they was fucking a bunch of hoes. I missed that. You missed all that. My shit was lit, bro. You missed the movie. You, you ain't come to that? I, you missed that show? You told that me. LA that LA show was popping. He told me to come too. I was like, man. Damn, no. See, I, you probably, I already got you probably, some over You here. probably were left with two. And man. You probably had two on you. You ain't we was going to be fucking the hoes, though. I was like, <laughs> I had a bird in the hand already. It was worth doing. You should have brought it. You would have probably left with three. Yeah. Oh. You see? You now fucked up. he tells me. I see. You fucked up, man. She had a question. <laughs> I do have a question for you. What's up, though? Miss Back It Up. Creative, art, creative artist that you are, tell me about the process that you did in creating your latest album, Reloaded. Smoke hella weed. Nah, no. <laughs> yeah, Smoke I mean, weed every day. Yeah, that. I, um, I, just, I just write what I feel. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got, I'll tell you a little back history. Like, I started rapping when I first heard Nas, Illmatic. I heard that shit and was like, what the fuck is this? So Cause he was the first rapper that I recognized was talking about the shit that was going on outside his window in the hood. I was like, oh shit, I see the same shit in my hood. Yeah. I could do that. You know what I'm saying? So when I make music, I just, I just talk about what I see. Like I probably would write a song about all y'all motherfuckers when I leave here. <laughs> <laughs> like dope. I'm a sponge, I just soak shit up and you know what I'm saying? Just put it out however the fuck I, I, I makes, it makes sense to me. So yeah, sometimes I just smoke, zone out. And whatever comes out, come out. I let the music do what it do. I don't have no fucking rules, no theories, no, yo, you gotta do this. You gotta light a candle and say a prayer. I don't, ain't no motherfucking rules. Half the records I write, I write driving somewhere else. Yeah. Be driving high shit and I'm like, oh shit, I got it. And it's, that'd be that. You mentioned right. Royce the Five Nine and y'all just did a track, Wrong One, yeah. on Painkillers Reloaded. How was that like collab? How did that come about? That was actually crazy. See, she be on her shit. Yeah. I like it. I was waiting for it. Word. Um, Pete Rock produced the track. I was in the studio with Pete Rock first. When he played the beat, I said, oh, this shit is so crazy. It's so dope. And the first person I heard on that beat was Royce. Because we was going to either do, 
I think Pete, Pete Rock was probably going to rap on that motherfucker at first. You know what I'm saying? And then um, I said, yo, Royce will kill this. He was like, yeah, send it to him. I sent it to him right then and there. And then we just started cooking from there. So that was that was a dope ass record. Pete Rock is, is the man. Wait, did Shout you out tell to Pete. Truth, tell the truth. You, you didn't want Pete Rock to rap on that. You, you do some more. <laughs> I want to rock right now. <laughs> nah, I would have took that, man. He Hurrah! <laughs> some old school ass shit on you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it would be you, you had to play it out like it would be dope if you did jump on this like that. Uh nah, peep my nigga, man. That nigga got nothing but crack in that motherfucker. Yo, Giovanni, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> that was brought to you in part by Coquito. <laughs> <laughs> in Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> we got another question over That's here. Funny. Okay. Um, actually, yes, I do have another question. <laughs> What's up, though? What else do we have? to look forward to. I've been seeing you everywhere, bumping uh -huh. into you everywhere. So let us know what you up to, what you got coming, what we got to look forward to. You got well, a stalker. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 nah. We just been around. <laughs> nah, um, I'm actually going to drop a mixtape on Christmas Day just for the women. Like, word the mother. I thought about that like five minutes ago. Ah, but I got, I got so much, like, I got so much new records out right now that I ain't fucking released yet. A lot of them is like catered towards women, so I'm gonna drop okay. a mixtape just for the women. But niggas can get it too, of course. I mean, it's dope. I can rap, so I'm still spitting balls in the motherfucker. Uh -huh. But um, it's just gonna be just for the women. I'm gonna drop it on Christmas. Hey, man, I, I, I got something to ask you, man. Because okay. this came to my attention, like, probably. Yo, it was the same day you invited me to that party, the, the Royce 5 Nine shit. Okay. My man Jeremy, he was like, yo, Graf is dope. But I don't know if we could do nothing with him and whatnot. Because then he have some kind of beef with 50. Nah, I ain't got no beef with 50. Niggas always, th always, always think that. We from the same town. But um, I guess. What happened? Um, Elaborate on that. Because I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Yeah, you probably heard that. But nah, me and 50, we, we cool. I just, I, I actually really just officially met him. Like, because um, we seen each other in passing a thousand times. Mm -hmm. We from the same side of Queens and all that. But I just seen him like um, in the summertime, really like shook hands and got to kick it a little bit. But we cool though. Mm. I think he had like old issues with um, some of the guys that I was around way back in the days. But mm. I think that shit is even water under the bridge, for real, for real. Right, right. And, and I, I, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like speaking to nobody issues if it got anything to do with anything. I got you. Street I got at you. all. So right, right. whatever they might have or could have, in my opinion, I think is water under the bridge. But mm. me and son is cool. We ain't got no. I fuck with all the niggas. Yeah, yo, Banks, the we cool as shit. Clean shit. Word, word. Word, word. So if you hear that again, mm -hmm. straight out, it's like, nah, this, we don't do it on this show. This is yeah, like, that, that's the perfect motherfucking platform. Anybody <laughs> ask you if grabbing 50 got interest, say, nah, them niggas cool, man. Okay. Them niggas holding up queens together and representing for the fucking town. Right. There it is. There it is. Yes. Hey, do you remember seeing her around anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, yes. you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she be around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I just want to make sure you're safe. That's all. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's in the bushes, like, that nigga go again. <laughs> nah. Hey, I have a question What's up? for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, let, let I'll put some nasty right. shit, because you, you know. Hold on, let's, get her, let's start right here. And then we're going to go over there. And then, yeah. So what would you consider your big, what would you consider your biggest hurdle? And what would you, what word of advice would you give people coming into the industry now that you have so many things going on and you're in the industry, but you're right. also reaching out in different creative projects? A lot oh. of smart questions. That was a good one. I mean, there's a Daria. lot. Daria. <laughs> My name is Brenda. I don't know what this Dario came from. Now it's a lot of fucking hurdles I had to deal with to with you. Um, like I came in the game with uh, street dudes, and they made some guys uncomfortable. So some niggas was like, "Oh, don't let that man let's blackball him or whatever the fuck you want to call it." So that was a hurdle in itself. Right. A lot right. of sucker shit that I had to deal with. Um, but in general, I think. Um, a rule of thumb I just say is if you come in, into this business or any business, keep in mind it is always business, it's never personal. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is what I want to leave y'all with because I, I think I had the wrong idea in the beginning. Some, some, some things I took to heart, like, oh, fuck that nigga, I ain't doing this, so I'm not doing that with this niggas or whatever. All I'm feeling is out the door. It's fucking business, it's numbers. Nobody gives a fuck how anybody feels about anything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not like even what someone was saying earlier, when niggas say, how you doing, how's it? Nobody give a fuck how you doing. You ever, you ever hear somebody say, how you I doing? I don't even think I they listen it. to your answer. I like, if it. I say, how you doing to a nigga, I hope, most of the time I mean it, or else I just don't say this shit. It, but when right. niggas say, how you, real. yeah, word them up. I say, how you doing, I normally mean it, or I don't say it. But normally when a nigga say, how you doing, he don't even hear your answer. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're about, yeah, you know, well, I, you programmed I, I, I died bullshit. yesterday, but I'm still here on my nigga. Oh, word, it's all good, so what's up? Like, nigga don't even listen to what the fuck. Yeah. That, nobody cares about nothing. 
So no. I, I hate when a nigga even say, I call niggas industry or Hollywood. I don't even use that term no more because I get it now. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really industry or Hollywood. They just don't give a fuck about nothing you're talking about if, right. it, don't, if it don't put money in their pocket. Exactly. Because right. I'm, I'm far from Hollywood. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I can't wait till I got enough money for a nigga to call me Hollywood. Me too. Nigga, <laughs> the day a nigga say I'm Hollywood, I'm going to be like, nigga, thank you. Right, right. I've been waiting for this day, yeah. nigga. Yes, yes, yes. Because right now I'm just the hood. I got that down pat. Yeah, I got the hood. The Holly part ain't nowhere we near need that some shit. Holly. <laughs> We need some, hey, Holly, if you, if you see us. I need all that. Can you help us, Holly? You know what I'm saying? So, but I get it. Nobody gives a fuck. It's just numbers. Mm. Like, even like music. Music is this big. The word business is music mm -hmm. business. Business our sh The business overshadows the music by far because nobody gives a fuck. Even the labels, they will sign some straight garbage if it got the numbers. They don't, if they see the numbers right, they don't even want to hear that they shit. They're like, yeah. man, sign that nigga. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. He's talking about raping nuns. So what? Yeah. He got 10 million downloads. Sign that. Nobody gives a fuck, you know what I'm saying? So, business is business. I think that's just the one thing I learned in this game is that that's all that matters is, is, is the dollar at the end of the day. To, to, you know, when it comes to the business. Last question over here. I was just trying to figure out what was going on between you and Kendrick Lamar. Oh, okay, Kendrick? Let's say that again. You and Kendrick Lamar. Oh, Kendrick is the homie. Um, when he first came into New York City, I did a record with him in the very beginning. He was fucking with J-Rock. And... Um, I guess when he made the control record and niggas felt the way, I did a freestyle like going at him, but it's on some friendly competition shit. Cause yeah, I fuck right. with I fuck with Kendrick, yeah, so okay. it was just friendly, like just like I feel I'm the motherfucking shit. So yeah, as you should, I, as humble as I want to be, I'm, yeah, when I'm in the studio, quit, yeah. I feel like Superman. Uh -huh, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? So I'm always going to be like, let, let me just wrap circles around you motherfuckers. Not to say him per se, but I'm just. Mm -hmm. But if you had to, you, you give him the business, nigga. So that's just how I'm that's feeling you, in yeah, general. Yeah, you As a competitor, I feel, you know, that I'm up here. So As you should. Yeah, but it's, he feel the same way. So that's why he has it. Right? He's he rapping. So even all of us in this business, we all trying to kill each other on these tracks. As you it's, should. It's, it's, this is a sport. That's why I hate when niggas get in this shit and can't rap. Mm -hmm. Like, you should never be in the business and have the beat do everything for you. You should still know how to rap when the shit is off. You can't True. just suck. I mean, you could get lucky, and I like all kind of music. I want to turn up all day, but you still got not a rap, even a little bit. True. Ain't no ball player in the NBA, even if he's on the bench, he can still shoot the fucking ball. Nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, that's my take on that. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, I really had a great time with you today. The ladies, did y'all have a great time with Brown? Yeah. Yo, give it up for real. <laughs> give it up for the damn homies, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Classic. New York. We're talking freestyle, right? New York. Oh, New York, New York. Young GR. Oh. Oh. Shots to the I big road for coming through. All the through. blogs out there that support the nigga, man. All the blogs out there. Freestyle king. Y'all are so, so important. All right. And that's a wrap, y'all. Gold chain trucking, cocaine smuggling. See, okay. young and I was turnstile, train jumping, but his blade cutting grew up and became something. 